Congressman McKeon, can I just ask you a couple questions? We are, we are in a huge I know, we can walk and talk at the same time. As chairman of the Drones Caucus, or I should say as chairman of the House Armed Services Committee and founder of the Drones Caucus, do you stand with Rand? First of all, you made a couple of statements that weren't correct. We don't have a drone caucus that I'm the aware of. Unmanned Aerial Systems Caucus we have, that you co-founded. We, we have a caucus that's the Unmanned Systems Caucus because we have uh, robots that move on the ground, you know, that help find IEDs and help save lives. Right. We have unmanned aircraft that fly in the skies, all different, you know, all different kinds. <laughs> and we have unmanned systems, unmanned systems that uh, ah, I'm, I'm behind you. are underwater. And I am the, uh, the uh, co-chair of that caucus. You didn't found it? Pardon? You didn't found it? I was under the impression that you were the founder. I, I'm the co-chair, and I founded it with a Democrat who has since left Congress. The two of us were the founding co-chairs. And so do you support the domestic surveillance use of drones? Say that again? Do you support using drones domestically for surveillance? That's against uh, American citizens? No. No? So you, no. you don't support domestic surveillance with against, drones? Uh, say, that, say the whole question again. Do you support the use of drones in domestic surveillance against American citizens? No. Do you support the targeting of American citizens on American soil with drones? No. Why would we have to do that? We have an FBI. Uh, we have local police. We have uh, the ability to, if, if someone wants to uh, wage war against us here locally, we don't need a drone. As I, as I understand it, the thing that, um, that is out there buzzing around and the thing that Rand Paul was talking about was um, the idea that a drone, how you doing? That a drone would be used to kill an American citizen inside our country. Exactly, but so those and concerns are unfounded? And, and I think he received the answer back from the Attorney General the following day. The president does not have the authority to do that. And you would never support that authority? No, I don't. I don't even think there's any need for it. And it makes me wonder if I'm under some sort of spiritual matrix with the truth pulled over my eyes with the evil forces that compromise my state of mind. Have I been hypnotized to believe in lies? With